Welcome to another Fafner guide, to become the most toxic player in Master Duel. Yes, today's guide is about Runic, the deck that makes everyone crying in Duelist Cup. These guide won't be as usual combo guide, but it's more to explaining on how to properly play the cards and responds to our opponent's action. I add the timestamp on description and also pinned comments so you can directly check the info that you need. I only gonna showcase two runic decks, Invoked Runic and Toxic Runic. Invoked Runic is more like first turn setup with Invoke Engine as an Ash Bader for this deck, while Toxic Runic is more to stun or floodgate version of Runic. There are still more version like Musket Runic, Orchest Runic, Sky Striker Runic, but understanding how Runic works is the most important one for it. The effect of this archetype is pretty straightforward. Disrupt your opponents and banished, or protect your life points and field spell. All you need to know about this deck, that it doesn't have any main deck monsters, so far they only have 3 fusion monsters, which you gonna summon them in an abnormal way. Their main deck is consist only spell cards, their spell cards have two different types. Quick play spell and non quick play spell, that's literally what's written in the text. All of the quick play spell have two different effects but you can only activate the cards once per turn. The first effect is usually the effects that can disrupt your opponent's play and banishing cards from deck. The second effect across all the quick play spell are all the same, which is special summon a runic fusion monster to the extra monster zone. Remember it needs to be summoned to extra monster zone not the main monster zone. If your extra monster zone is occupied, you still can activate the cards if the requirements are met, but you cannot choose to activate the second effects. So as long your extra monster zone is empty, you can activate these second effect any times, as long as the spell card hasn't been activated yet this turn. They also have a restriction cost, where you gonna skip your next battle phase after activation. This is the reason that your winning condition is only decking out your opponent, nothing else. The non-quick play spells are Runic Fountain the Field Spell, and Runic Allure the Continuous Spell. Runic Fountain is the culprit of this deck, if you manage to negate this, Runics are done. These card can reload a maximum of 3 runic quick play spells from graveyard to the deck, and let you draw the same number, and it's also allow the runic player to activate quick play spell directly from hand anytime you want including in your opponent's turn. So you must protect this field spell whatever the cost is. And also, why we play reasoning and monster gate. Those two cards are basically grass for runic deck, this deck mostly consists of spell cards, and just 3 to 4 monster cards on the deck, so it's an advantage when you mill most of your quick play spell to graveyard, which means you can just activate one quick play per turn and reload another 3 from graveyard and draw 3. With these you will not be out of resources for the whole duel. Runic Allure is the least important one but it helps to speed up the decking out faster, Every time a quick play spell activate including your opponent's cards, you will banish one card from opponent's deck. Let's talk about the fusion monsters. There are three of them, Hugin, Moonin and Gary. Hugin, on summon will let you search the field spell. It also has another two trigger effects. First one. If this card is destroyed by battle it will return to the extra deck, and the second one whenever any of your card on the field is going to be destroyed by effect, you can banish Hugin and all of your cards will be immune to destruction for that moment. Mooney. On summon will let you search the continuous spell. It has a trigger effect. Whenever one or more cards were targeted by your opponents, you can banish Moonin and negate it. 
These two works like a protection for your field spell card, negate destroying effect and negate targeting effect. Gary on the other hand, when summoned, have an effect where you can add back the non-quick play spell cards from graveyard to your hand, and also it can't be destroyed by opponent's card effect, but when destroyed by battle, you can destroy one card on opponent's field. Even though this is not a combo deck, but there's still a small setup that you need to do for this deck. 1 runic quick play plus 1 random card. Summon Hugen. Add Runic Fountain. Activate Fountain, and you still got three cards on your hand that hopefully a Runic Quick Play spell. 1 to 2 Runic Quick Play plus 1 Runic Fountain. Activate Runic Fountain first, summon Mooney. Discard the other Runic Quick Play. Activate Fountain Effect. Return 2 Quick Play and draw 2. Add Runic Allure. That's all the combo set up that you need. Now how to properly play this archetype and responds against opponent's activation. Usually people will try to destroy fountain first before they do something. The usual card is Harpy Duster. When they activate Harpy Duster, activate any quick play runic to summon Hugin. And let the animation goes. Hugin will trigger its effect to banish itself and protect all of your back row including Fountain from destruction. And if you have another quick play you can summon her again, her protection is not once per turn as well. Another thing if you are out of Hugin from extra deck, you can summon Gary instead. After Fountain destroyed you can grab Fountain back to your hand but the drawback you no longer be able to activate quick play on your opponent's turn. If you are on the verge of dead with low life points, you can summon Gary to protect you, it cannot be destroyed by card effect, but when it destroyed by battle, it will trigger its effect in graveyard, to target and destroy one card on the field, use it to destroy the other monster that haven't attacked yet that turn and same like the others, it's not once per turn. Fountain is also soft once per turn, means, if another fountain activated again, you can draw three again in the same turn. And also one last important thing to notice, even though the effect of runic quick play is straightforward, it still need the required situation to be able to activate its effect. Let's say you want to activate freezing curse effect, it negate your opponent's effect and then banish top 3 cards from opponent's deck, but if your opponents have 2 cards left in their deck, you won't be able to activate the effect and if you have a monster in your extra monster zone, you cannot even activate the card from hand. So be careful when you are almost decking out your opponents, the only runic quick play that can banish without any required number of cards, is only Smiting Storm. So how to counter this deck then? So far, I heard the best card to counter this deck is by adding Chaos Hunter to any of your deck, also Cosmic Cyclone or any Banish effect to banish the Fountain. If you are playing Branded Despia, banishing Fountain is your top priority. Ash Blossom could also problematic for Runic, 
Make sure save your Ash Blossom or any Negate, to Negate Fountain when it's activate to reload their spell cards. If you playing Endymion, add more Secret Village, it is the best card to stomp Runic. If you playing Eld Lich or Labyrinth, you can bring Anti-Spell Fragrance. If you playing Branded Megatron like the one this video, this deck have monster called Spell Canceller, which works same like Secret Village and it can be summoned with usual 2 card Dry Tron combo. That's all for the guide, thanks for watching, please leave a like, subscribe and share it.